Ciao everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be uh, preparing a traditional sweet bread and the name of this recipe is Calabrese Sweet Easter Egg Bread. It's absolutely delicious. It's wonderful on Easter morning for breakfast and I've also seen it being served um, on a dessert table. Now let's get started. I'm going to prepare the yeast first because it has to stand for approximately 10 minutes. So I'm going to put four teaspoons and two one quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. To, to my yeast, I'm going to add six tablespoons of warm milk, um, homogenized milk. Now, you don't want your milk more than at 110 degrees. I'm going to add it now to the, my yeast. I'm going to give it a nice stir, and I'm going to set it aside for 10 minutes. Here I have four cups of all-purpose flour. To the flour, I'm going to add one tablespoon of kosher salt, and I'm just going to let it mix. So I'm going to add six large eggs at room temperature. one at a time. Okay, six. I'm going to add the rind of one orange. My yeast is proofing beautifully. It's bubbling. You know that uh, it's working. It's alive. I'm adding two teaspoons of orange flower water. Okay, I'm going to add the yeast mixture and I'm going to let the machine knead the dough for a good 10 minutes. Okay, now if you don't have the orange flower water or you can't find it, just leave it out. The recipe will be fine. I have a quarter cup of refined sugar here and one and a half cups of unsalted butter at room temperature cubed. Now all I'm going to do is mix it into the sugar a couple of pieces at a, at, uh, a time. Whoops. Okay. Okay, now that my butter mixture has been mixed with the sugar, now I'm going to add a little bit of the to uh, a little bit at a time to my dough. It's the final batch of butter. Now I'm just going to let this, the machine do a little bit of kneading for about 10 minutes. I have some bench flour down and I'm just going to bring the dough down. It's very sticky. So I just want to make sure, make sure you have um, a well floured surface. And okay, my dough is ready. It's beautiful. I greased this bowl. Now I'm just going to place it in the bowl. I'm going to put plastic wrap around it and set it aside in a nice warm place for two hours. So my beautiful sweet dough has been rising for two hours. Look how beautiful, it doubled in size. Now all I'm going to do is I am going to um, lift it and drop it and lift it and drop it to deflate it. So I'm going to deflate it and drop it. Deflate and drop. Deflate and drop. Deflate and drop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plastic wrap over it again and in the refrigerator for 17 hours. So my sweet dough, a recap, was in the refrigerator for 17 hours. I pulled it out for two and a half hours to, to come back to um, room temperature. And now, so this Calabrese sweet Easter egg bread makes two eight by 12 loaves. So I'm just going to divide this in half. Before I set the sweet dough inside the pan, I'm just going to make the ropes that will make the cross around the eggs. And I'm going to need 16 of them. My 16 little ropes are ready. And here's my beautiful dough. I'm just spreading it out. Now I'm just going to, it's a lovely, lovely dough in my pan. 
for this particular recipe, it's for eight eggs. So now we're going to set our eggs inside. Oh, how beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? Two. Okay, now when you do the eggs, put the thicker part of the egg at the bottom like this. How gorgeous is this? Okay, now with the little sticks that we made, we're going to do a cross, obviously, to represent the crucifixion of Christ. And we're just gonna press down the ends into the bread like this. Okay, my bread is ready. I'm just gonna push them in with a spoon just to secure them to the, um, to the bottom of the bread. Okay, I'm covering it with plastic wrap in a nice, I have a warming drawer, but if you don't have a warming drawer, just put it in a nice warm place for two hours. I'm just giving it a nice egg wash. It's all it is is an egg yolk with one tablespoon of milk. And um, I'm, I preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have some pearl sugar. You can use sanding sugar if you like, but I just, I love the way the pearl sugar looks. I'm just going to top it with the pearl sugar. My Calabres sweet Easter egg bread is ready for the oven. I'm going to put it in uh, a 400 degree Fahrenheit for the first 15 minutes, and then I'm going to lower the temperature to 350 for an additional 20 minutes. How gorgeous is this on Easter morning for, or for brunch or even on your dessert table? Beautiful. So I'm just going to cut, each egg is a serving piece. How gorgeous. I'm going to taste it for you. Every time I've seen this wonderful uh, sweet bread, it's always served with apricot jam. It, there's no rule, but that's how I'm going to be serving it. Now, obviously, if you if there's another jam that you like, of course you can use that. But I'm going to stick to tradition, and I'm going to taste it with apricot jam. Oh my gosh, it's still warm. I know I say this all the time, but if you could only smell my kitchen. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. You really, you, you must make this. You saw how easy it was to prepare. I want to wish you all a very happy Easter. Buona Pasqua a tutti. And it's Caterina from my home to yours. <laughs>